Yeah. Hold up. Listen. Listen. Yo. Yo. What up? Let's, let's, let's. A lot of times it seems that I'm optimistic. It's not that I'm different. Just want to be around things and show that it's terrific. Listen, when I was young, I used to be... The- What's up, y'all? Yo, we had another episode uh, with Hawk Media 1, no doubt. Philly, West Philly. We still in West Philly. West Philly hip-hop historical sites. Like, yo, right behind me. This is special because right behind me, we're not in the exact spot because I don't want to do that um, for other reasons. But if you just look over those hills and up 49th and Wendell is the home of Pop Art Records, right? Pop Art Records, first of all, bro, when I heard the radio and when hip hop was rolling and I heard Roxanne Shante battle uh, the UTFO and when I heard the record, I said, this girl from around the way. I knew that she was from around the way. I thought she was from Philly at first. But then you realize, no, 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 I thought, my fault, I thought MC Sham was from Philly. But when I first heard Roxanne Shante, I knew it was something brewing. And it was so dope, right? And I didn't know that Roxanne Shante was on Pop Art Records at first. The only time I actually knew it was when I heard Juice Crew this by Cool C. Damn, by law, you must be talking about me. The almighty, what did he say? The one and only almighty cool C. Right, I gotta keep going to my man because he grew up around them and we gotta make sure we get the history right. Brom Cognito info resource on this particular uh, topic. But when I heard him say that you got to start right here on Pop Arts, I went, what? I couldn't believe it, bro, that Shante got her start, Juice Crew, MC Shan got their start right here in Philly. Salt and Pepper, uh, right here in Philly. Across that, over that, them houses, Pop Art Records sits right over there. We were right in our own neighborhood. Remember, I always go back to School EDs, the MC Breezes. But Pop Art Records are special because they were like, what? Death Row Records. They were like Bad Boy in the 80s. We was killing it. Lawrence Goodman and Goodman and Dana. Uh, uh, his wife and his brother started Pop Art Records. And we standing in an historical spot. Think, just think about this. Lawrence Goodman probably drove his car. And Goodman drove their car. Went to the P.O. box with wasn't that far. When you look on the records and you see the P.O. box, you look at it, it's right in these neighborhoods. They probably went and picked up money, picked up distribution slips, and they was right here. Pop Art Records is right here. We're standing in front of the PHL 17. So communications, but Pop Art Records, bro, Cool C, Cool C, Study B, Bring the B back. Say it again, Salt and Pepper, what? Yeah, Salt and Pepper. Supernatural, that's right, because uh, Ann Goodman, I think she, huh? Marley Mall. They connected with them up in New York and they had to show them how to do the records. They had to show them, no, this is how you move. How did Cool C and them, not Cool C, Lawrence Goodman and them understand this? Because Philly is a Philadelphia hip hop, R&B, uh, this is the music town. This is like what soul. The soul of Philly is the international record. I mean, um, Philly International Records. Sound of Philadelphia, right? You got a Georgie Woods was a major communications disc jockey. Uh, what's the other boy that everybody rhymed like? Uh, Jocko. All these cats were major in Philly doing their thing. So they learned a lot being in Philly. And Lawrence Goodman, 
Dana and Ann Goodman started their record label right in this space. This space over there on 49th and Wendell. So we are standing in a historical space right now. When you hear, uh, like I said, you hear uh, Let the Hustlers Play from Study B. Those records and not that crafting of that with uh, Study B on the, on the beat machine. All these different um, tap money and all them making these beats and they together coming up with all this stuff. The records were being, the business was being done right behind us. Pop art records. So when you look at pop art records, you have to understand uh, that they were major players. What's the other record by Boogie Down Production? B Boy Doc, uh, B Boy uh, Records, Wild Pitch, Tommy Boy Records. You have to say pop art records. And we're in Philly, another historical spot. Hilltop Hustler Records. Okay, this is good. Right, Will Smith, I'm bugging, Will Smith on Pop Art Records. Then what did we have after that? You had uh, Hilltop Hustlers on 60th and Lansdowne, the same area that Monk with the Funk, an underground MC that came out and put out his records with Illadelf Records. But let's go back to Hilltop Hustle Records, which was started with Lawrence Goodman and Study B. Study B doing more production, and who was on Hilltop uh, Hustlers? Three times dope. So look at all that that started from Pop Art Records just over this hill right here, over those houses, 49th and Wendell, a major mecca for Philly hip hop, right? And Hilltop Hustler Records is on 60th and Lansdowne, where Study B started. It's like they basically did the same thing that Entre Records did. Entre went and said, okay, here, puppy, why don't you start Bad Boy Records? So the same thing with Pop Art Records. What else came out of Pop Art Records? Word Up Records, which had uh, Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince and the Jazzy Jeff on that label. And then Hilltop Hustle Records. And before that was Galaxy, which with Eddie D, Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? Clear Beat, talking about cash. And where was he from? Right up the street. What, Winfield? West Philly, in the same area as Schooly D, 49th and Parkside. Say it again. We're gonna walk up to our information. So 50th. Okay, so 50, 55th and media. All right. All right. So, we still rolling? All right. So, I once again, I got to get this. The reason I keep going back to my information because Brom knows direct information because he's seen these guys coming up as a kid. He watched it. That's what made him want to be an MC and come in. So, he's telling me that uh, Eddie D, Cash Money, um, song which was on Galaxy Records, which is uh, centered to Pop Art Records. Eddie D was from the same area as Cool C, which is 55th and Media. So, two mega MCs, two MCs that got Pop Art Records started. So, remember, uh, Lawrence Goodman, LG the Teacher, all those type of names, Ann Goodman, Dana Goodman. Started those labels right there over the hills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what up, what up? See, we even got people that feel the same energy because Pop Art Records was a major thing. And when I'm hearing these records, I ran out and got Study B, Bring the Beat Back. I want all the people, what is it? I want all the hilltop, everybody was saying, did you hear booze record? That's right, it was playing. That was right here. That record got promoted and pushed. The manufacturer, wherever they went to get the manufacturer. So we gotta respect our 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 sites. Like I said, these sites are just as important as when you walked over the bridge in Selma 
uh, for civil rights as Martin Luther King. You see, when they take pictures near that 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 bridge, it's just as important as uh, Pop Art Records over there. It's just as important as the Selma Bridge when people was in Selma marching for civil rights. It's just as important when those kids were at the uh, counter when they was at the counter in Woolworths down in Alabama, and we took that and. And you go to you go to the counter when you go down DC and you see that counter and it's famous. That's how famous over there on 49th and Wendell is to pop our records to fill it up your hip hop uh, historical sites. So we gotta respect that, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, why is that important? Because pop our records help jumpstart the Juice Crew. When you hear Fly Tide talking about being in Philly, we were an integral part of that. But I'm bringing you to the hip hop sites. And right over that hill is Pop Art Records. And you gotta understand that this right here is sacred ground. This is serious, you know what I'm saying? So remember, Pop Art Records, we right in the space, right here. We right here. This is sacred ground, you know what I mean? No doubt. So you do got to understand, this is what hip-hop is all about, being in You got to remember, three times dope, the three members was Woody Wood, DJ Woody Wood, Chuck Nice, and EST, the Act Nicholas one. Even I think a record came out of him later when he did the Act Nicholas records, I think. Uh, but it was because of Pop Art Records and Hilltop Hustler Records uh, that this was able, this was even possible. So you got a North Philly, and the North Philly has a whole hip style. And the newer cats that came out in the 90s, mid 90s was Hunted X. And they were, they were Mustafa and all these guys. And then you got uh, the big group that came out of North Philly, also Ram Squad and those guys. But we know three times dope with Chuck Nice and Woody Wood, DJ Woody Wood and EST to act Nicholas One, got with Lawrence Goodman. They were trying to find out how can they get their demo tape to Pop Art Records. I believe when Pop Art, and I know they're right across over here, when they actually had an office on City Line Avenue. But this is the original, one of the original places right over this street right here, which is Pop Art Records. They were trying to get their demo to Lawrence Goodman and was getting shooed away at times. I even heard sometime, now this is just speculation, I don't know if this has happened, but from my resources, they had stories where they would try to go up to Pop Arts and Lawrence Goodman would actually be there and he would shoo them off. But eventually, Lawrence Goodman heard it and he realized how dope they were. So North Philly, West Philly connection. And look what happened. As time moved on, Lawrence Goodman, uh, Pop Arts became a phenomenal record label. Enigma in a sense too. But uh, these major events started happening and these their careers blew up. Study being them with superstars, Cool C superstars. Uh, EST, one of the baddest MCs out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his slang and his Philly slang repping North Philly Huntington. Park, which is their area, they rep that heavy on their records, but it happened because of Pop Art Records. Yeah, hold up. Listen, listen, yo, yo, what up? Let's, let's, let's. A lot of times it seems that I'm optimistic It's not that I'm different Just want to be around things and show that it's terrific Listen, when I was young I used to be the only loser Want to be around boys that tripped off fun Like I did, judge them, shoot I ain't want to get slid, we was all kids 42nd and Ogden, that's where I live Fresh Prince was on top Where the moms and pops had good jobs and shop For good calls, West Philly bad joints Definitely, I say us. I'm talking about Robert Goodell. I class myself as an MC that came out of West Philly, put our own records, and we have another brother behind the boards, behind the camera, also information on resource uh, uh, management, because he comes with the information like I do. And 
Rom Cognito, you know what I'm saying, which is part of Tainted Pines, him and his uh, uh, partner Dane. And who else was part of that squad? Lost Cause, I tell the roughly. Lost Cause in the town of Ruffin. Oh, 55th Amendment. 55th and what? 55th Amendment. And what? 55th Amendment. You know how you amendment. got the you know how you got the first amendment? Okay. Fifty fifth amendment. Fifty fifth amendment. Yeah. These are all squads from West Philly, right? And they all blew up. You know what I'm saying? What's up? You got somebody know what time it is? They know Pop Art Records started right here. So we got love. Everybody love Pop Art Records. So let's keep the history alive, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Peace to Eddie D, the whole squad, no doubt. All right, Pop Art Records, Lawrence Gummy. Dana Goodman and Ann Goodman, they held me down. World of Records, uh, Hilltop Hustle Records, Galaxy Records, and uh, even Act Nicholas Records, you know what I'm saying? All these record labels came out of Pop Art Records, right? And we all know. That's West Philly in the 80s, boy. Get a history lesson for your ba- 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 baby boys. That's, that's, that, that's, that, that, that's West Philly in the 80s, boy. Get a history lesson for your baby boys. Baby, ba- 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 baby boy.